please stand and welcome Alexa Jarvis to sing the national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's glass gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pale rollers fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free and the home Welcome. We would like to extend our thanks to Martin Ryan for playing the piano when you were all arriving, and for Alexa Jarvis for singing the national anthem. I would also like to acknowledge our honored guests, Mr. Gordon Smith, Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Pamela Blair, Assistant Superintendent for Business, Ms. Valerie Anir, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum. Mr. Richard Fichero, School Committee Member. Dr. Gina Flanagan. Mr. Frank Page. And Mr. Robert Marhefka. Welcome to the East Longmeadow High School's National Honor Society's Induction Ceremony. I would like to extend my congratulations to the students who will be inducted this evening. On behalf of those who are currently members, we welcome you to the National Honor Society. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the current members of the East Longmeadow chapter of the National Honor Society. As I call your name, please stand. Seth Bracci, Jack Donahue, Tyler Dumas, Jenny Gao, Megan Miracle, Catherine Moynihan, Sujan Pleviak, Lily Russo, Martin Ryan, Noah Secondo, Allison Stevens, and Marina Wilkins. So this is the part where I have to give you a little speech about these students. Um, and I have to admit it's pretty easy to come up with things to say about the current students and about those that will be inducted tonight. Part of that is due to the obvious reason that they gain a 4.2 grade point average, which is pretty impressive in and of itself. But they also have to endure a pretty I don't know, rigorous application process. They have to go through their list of co-curricular activities, their leadership positions, their community activities, and then, in an essay, explain why they should be members of the National Honor Society. Kind of like applying to college, right? 
That's quite a list of requirements on top of that 4.2 GPA. But they all do it. Then, once they are members, they continue to stand out above their peers. Last year, the members decided that their community service project would be to create care packages for teenage oncology cancer patients at Bay State Children's Hospital and the Sadowski Center for Children. Although this is a cause that is near and dear to my own heart, the students completely embraced it and ended up creating amazing packages for 10 teenage patients and made a sizable donation to the clinic to purchase snacks while these same patients are undergoing treatment in the infusion clinic. They also championed the cause of combating world hunger by donating to Heifer International. We actually bought a cow for a village. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Members also tutor other students at ELHS struggling in their academic classes, and they do this all year. I tell you all of this because, well, I really do want to sing their praises, but I also want you to know that each and every student in NHS is more than just a GPA and more than an application. These contributions to our school, our community, and society prove that they are far greater than a 4.2. I'd like to now introduce the president of East Long Meadow High School chapter of the National Honor Society, Catherine Moynihan, who will begin the ceremony. Good evening. Thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate the new members of the East Long Meadow chapter of the National Honor Society. I would like to give a special welcome to our inductees who have made outstanding accomplishments in their time here at East Long Meadow High School and who represent the very best in our school community. These remarkable members seated before you have earned their place by exhibiting devotion to learning, willingness to help others, dedication to leadership, and recognition of the important qualities that make up each unique individual. But what does it mean to be a member of the National Honor Society? We know at a minimum it means to maintain a 4.2 GPA. However, it is so much more than that. Being a member of the National Honor Society means that you learn to gain a deep understanding, not for the sake of earning a grade. It means that you are committed to serving others in whatever way you can, no matter who is or isn't watching. It means that you lead with passion, not to boss others in the hopes that they will follow. And it means that you are true to yourself and you work tirelessly to achieve your goals. Induction into the ELHS chapter of the National Honor Society is the beginning, not the end. We ask that each of you continue your exceptional effort in everything that you do and your commitment to helping others be at their best. We are very proud and honored to celebrate and congratulate each of you tonight, and we thank you for making our school community a better place to grow and to learn. The membership of the Esau Meadow National Honor Society has been earned by effective demonstration of the four qualities held in high esteem by the society. Four of our members will review these qualities for the candidates, starting with scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to high success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and, heart and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. Service. 
Service can be described in various ways. The routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. And character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others by demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship. We may hope to prove by example that we value character. And now Dr. Flanagan will share a few words. Good evening and welcome to the National Honor Society National Induction Ceremony tonight. We celebrate the induction of some of East Long Meadows High School's most distinguished students who have shown great promise in the areas of academic excellence, service to the community, and most importantly, the development of strong character. While academic excellence is the initial entry criteria into the NHS, it is the attributes related to being a person committed to social justice, community service, and good citizenship that is truly at the heart of NHS. Many of these students behind me have contributed to the benefit of our local, regional, and even global community in so many great ways through their own personal, their own personal community service projects, and they're involved with so many of the great clubs that ELHS has to offer. And they do this all while maintaining academic excellence with their studies. This is quite impressive. It is my hope that they will continue the civic engagement and devotion to learning long after they leave our high school. And to all of tonight's inductees and current members of NHS, I wish you continued success and thank you for your contributions in making ELHS and our community at large a much better place. Congratulations. Will the candidates please rise? Candidates, if you agree with these four pillars of our organization, you are welcome to join us in the following pledge. I pledge myself to uphold, pledge myself to uphold the, high the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. High standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. <laughs>
when your name is called, please walk across the stage and receive the membership certificate. Will the following candidates please come forward to be inducted into the East Long Meadow High School chapter of the National Honor Society? Caitlin Perman. Rachel Wood. Jake Brady. Nelson Brunette. Christopher Dalkey. Mamerto Cruz. Irene Dimitroglu. <laughs> Maria Dimitroglu. <laughs> Filippos Dimitroglu. <laughs> Abigail Donahue. Joseph Gellin. Marco Gamerez. Ethan Keeley. Hannah Kelly. Samuel Leone. <laughs> Courtney Merrick. <laughs> Michael O'Shea. <laughs> Grace Rajan. <laughs> Gregory Turnberg. and Matthew Wilson. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to our new members. We would now like to invite you, your family, and friends to a reception in the foyer outside of the auditorium. Thank you. <laughs> 